Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the entire process of creating a model using 3D printing, from the very first design steps on software to the final physical object produced by the printer. I start by sketching the idea in 2D using a design software. This step is essential to define the shape, proportions, and overall details of the model. Then, I move on to 3D modeling. With a 3D modeling program, I turn the 2D drawing into a detailed digital object ready for printing. Once the 3D model is complete, I convert the file into a format that works with the 3D printer, usually STL or OBJ. Next, I use a slicer software to process the model and generate the instructions for the printer. And finally, the 3D printer gets to work. Layer by layer, the model comes to life. Follow along with me to see how a digital idea transforms into a real-world object. Now it's time to bring the digital model into the real world. I start by plugging the USB drive into the 3D printer to transfer the sliced file. Before doing anything else, I make sure to put on a mask and protective gloves. Safety is always a priority when working with resin. Next, I carefully pour the resin into the printer's vat. Once everything is ready, I start the printing process, and then comes the waiting game, as the model is built up layer by layer. To reduce exposure to fumes, I've also built my own large sealed enclosure that fits over the entire printer. It's designed to capture and redirect the resin smell through a ventilation tube leading out the window. This way, I can work safely and more comfortably in my workspace. After a few hours of waiting, the printer has finished its job. The model is now complete, but it's not ready to use just yet. There are several post-processing steps needed to finalize the piece. First comes the step of removing excess resin parts, such as supports, rafts, or any unwanted structures created during the printing process. I carefully use small pliers or a craft knife to trim them off without damaging the model. Next is the cleaning stage, where I wash the model in isopropyl alcohol. This removes any uncured resin still clinging to the surface and helps sharpen the details. Finally, the model goes through a UV curing process. I place it inside a UV light box to fully harden the resin. This step makes the model stronger, more durable, and eliminates any remaining stickiness. And just like that, from a digital sketch to a fully finished object, the 3D model is finally brought to life. Next, I use sandpaper to smooth out any rough or imperfect areas on the model. Before sanding, I spray a little water on the surface to reduce dust and make the sanding process cleaner and more effective. For spots where I removed supports or where the surface was damaged, I apply UV resin to fill and repair them. After applying the resin, I cure it under a UV light so it hardens quickly and blends seamlessly with the rest of the model. Once everything looks good, I do a test assembly of the different parts to see how well they fit together. This step is important to make sure the model isn't just visually appealing, but also structurally sound and functional, just like I envisioned it. Now we move on to the final step to perfect the model's appearance, priming it with a white base coat. This helps the paint adhere better and gives the model a clean, smooth foundation, ensuring the colors will pop and look great.
Once the primer is dry, I use masking tape to cover the areas that I don't want to paint. This is important to prevent any unwanted paint from getting on the detailed parts of the model. I carefully place the tape to ensure everything stays neat and precise. Next, I mix the paint to get the desired colors and begin the actual painting process. Using a brush or spray, I apply an even coat of paint across different parts of the model, bringing it to life with vibrant colors. This step is what really makes the model stand out and gives it the finished look I envisioned. Next, I carefully remove the masking tape to reveal the painted areas. However, since some parts are too small, I use a paintbrush to carefully add color to these finer details, ensuring everything is neat and precise. Once the details are painted, I design a base for the model. This base is crucial to ensure the model can stand upright and won't tip over. I make sure the base is not only sturdy, but also complements the overall design of the model. Finally, I assemble all the parts together, double-checking that the joints are secure and the model is fully completed. And there it is. The Piano Dinosaur character model is finished. Finally, to ensure the model lasts longer and maintains its color over time, I apply a protective coat to the entire model. This coat not only protects the surface from scratches, but also creates a barrier against external factors like dust and moisture. I use a clear protective spray to preserve the model's appearance while enhancing its durability and gloss. Once the protective coat dries, the model is complete and ready for display or use, fully protected and looking great.